Uh, the big question at the moment is, are police fighting a losing battle against crime? Well, that's one of the issues to be discussed at a police union, Pop Cruise Policing Indaba. It will also look at leveraging technology and new policing methods to fight crime. We'll find out more from Pop Cruise spokesperson Richard Mamabolo, who joins us now. Richard, good to chat to you again. A very good morning and welcome to the South African Morning. This Indaba, in line with the crime statistics that were released on Friday, I imagine that will also be on the table in as far as your discussions and uh, all, everything on the event. Uh, good, good morning to you and the viewers. Yes, indeed, uh, I think uh, it would be quite important to obviously uh, make an observation about the recently released uh, quarterly crime statistics, but as well as uh, the trends that have been happening over the past years as it relates to well, uh, the kinds of policies that have been implemented in addressing the crime situation in our country. And of course, uh, under the theme, uh, uh, well, uh, building ideal corrections and policing in, in the 21st century, we think that uh, we will be able to bring about uh, sufficient expertise from different fields within the criminal justice cluster who will give, give an in-depth view around uh, what has been done and, of course, uh, looking into uh, innovations that could be put in place to ensure that uh, we really do get uh, uh, to the bottom of this challenge. And Richard, I imagine part of those innovations um, include the need to strengthen the partnership between police and the community members, um, if you will, community policing forums and the like, because there have been instances of sporadic violence where police have not been able to respond in time, uh, possibly, A, because they are uh, undercapacitated um, or they just don't have the enough capacity to deal with the situation at hand. How important are those partnerships with the community members uh, for, for this Indaba? Yeah, in fact, if you had observed uh, well, the Yes, if you had observed uh, well, the poli well, the Portfolio Committee on Policing in the past month, they did make a highlight about the challenges that are faced by community policing forums. And I think uh, over the years, the relations have not been so good. In fact, uh, they have also had budgetary constraints. So that as well has got a negative impact on the kind of work that police do because we know that uh, our staff complement in the SAPS has been on a decrease. And of course, uh, it would then therefore be uh, ideal that uh, you have... Uh, well, uh, community policing forums complementing the role that police do. So it's quite going to, well, we think that it's, it's quite an important aspect that needs to be looked into uh, in getting the community policing forums involved, but as well as uh, the business community as well. So so some of the initiatives, of course, are things that have already been done, but uh, the idea behind this uh, policing endeavor is to obviously uh, intensify some of the efforts that have been put into place. And of course, for that, uh, we think we're not going to broadly just uh, discuss uh, these matters as have already been reported, but obviously as well look into different expertise. And that is why we've got a list of uh, professionals. We've got a lot of lectures that will obviously be making presentations in the different commissions that we will be having. So we think that uh, based on the information that we will be getting from that, this endeavor, we will be in a better position to actually formulate positions. And of course, uh, you would be aware that uh, we are going to our 10th uh, National Congress in December. So part of the proposals that will be coming out of uh, this policing endeavor would obviously factor into what discussions we have at the National Congress. And of course, uh, we think that uh, it would be important that uh, the participation of uh, well, the ministers uh, in the criminal justice cluster would obviously yield some results in actually shaping the kind of uh, approaches that we would take uh, beyond this uh, policing endeavor. Thank you for that, Richard. I mean, do you, are you privy to the guest list? I mean, who are some of the um, important speakers that will address this indaba that you know of? We have uh, confirmed, we've got confirmations from uh, well, the Minister of Police, uh, the Department of Correctional Services. You've got uh, Brand South Africa. You've got Safer South Africa Foundation, which is led by the former National Commissioner, Ria Pieha, and of course, uh, uh, different other well, professors and uh, people with expertise in different fields. And of course, uh, part of the, the people who will be making presentations will be the, well, uh, the former statistician general and, of course, the Minister of uh, Justice, uh, Ronald Lamola. And Rich, before I let you go, the theme, obviously, is answering the question, is crime in South Africa a losing battle? What's your stance? 
Look, we think that uh, it depends on the kinds of measures that we would take. And I think uh, based on the fact that we will be deliberating around the, the strategies that have been employed and obviously looking into uh, whatever smart collisions can be put in place, uh, perhaps that will give an answer. I think uh, at the end of this uh, uh, endeavor, we will obviously be having uh, presentations, commissions, and uh, come up with uh, declarations. And on the basis of what we will achieve on these uh, discussions, we think uh, that will actually answer the question. And uh, of course, it would then be up to all stakeholders to ensure that uh, whatever we agree on is implemented to the latter, so that we then uh, we can uh, be able to determine whether it is a losing battle or not.